What's up guys, welcome back to another trip to the thrift. If you guys are enjoying the videos, please hit that like button. It lets me know that you guys want to keep on seeing them. Subscribe down below if you enjoy it and you want to see more. And drop a comment. I try to respond to all the comments that I can. So let's go see what we can find this week. Check out this 1993 inauguration. <laughs> Bill Clinton and Al Gore's t-shirt. You got January 20th, 1993. It does have like some light stains on it. But it's only $2.99 so I might get it and wash it and see if they come out. I found Counter-Strike and Half-Life 2 on the original Xbox. Not really worth much, but just cool to see. Not gonna lie, still haven't seen it. Hands down the best Dark Knight movie of the three, in my opinion. So I went through all these hats. Not nothing really besides these two right here. This Alolan Raichu hat, which is kind of cool. The Moltres hat, They're both by the Pokemon Company International. Found this Pawn Stars tee, but where's my boy Chumli at? We got the, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is the Germany soccer jersey. I don't know. Size XL, which is $9.99, which kind of sucks because they usually want like five bucks for these jerseys. So I just came out the store. Um, I didn't show this because it was behind the glass, but I did pick up this Game Boy Pocket for $7. It says not test it, but these things are like bricks. I'm pretty sure it works. Um... And it has the back on the battery cover, which is a plus. The golf game, not so great, but whatever. Might end up keeping this, but if not, then I know I can get more than seven bucks for it. So anyway, on to the next door. Just came out of Dollar Tree. I went in there and got some batteries. Tell me why there's always a million people here and only one cashier every single time I come. But that's besides the point. Anyway, I, I went and got batteries and the Game Boy works great. Just thought I would share that with you guys. Now to the next door. Shoe section's pretty dry. They have these Converse Aero Jams right here. I guess that's what they're called. For $12.81. Those are kind of cool. And then down here, they just have these uh, all green Roshis and then these Star Wars vans. We got the vintage Tigger T right here for $2.99. It's one size, fits all. Got the old school tag right there. I think it used to be white though, and then it has like blood stains on it, so yeah, I think it would have passed. These Jungle Book bands, these are actually pretty cool for $8.99. Somebody was actually trying to hide these under a bunch of hats. <laughs> so I found this Troy Aikman Wilson jersey, size XL, uh, but it's super stained up. It's super cracked, it's fading, and they want 20 bucks for it. Found the Stussy T for $2.99 as is. It has like some tiny holes in it, but you can't really tell from far away. Found the Tommy Hilfiger jeans shirt right here for $2.99. It's missing the tag, but for $2.99, why not? The vintage Mickey snapback. They want they want 95 cents for this one. Still really clean, it just needs to be reshapen, and that's an easy fix. The on tack on Titan for uh, $4.99 2X. This is a three-quarter sleeve. It's got the crest right there on the left sleeve. And then a little bit farther down, I got this Nautica fleece jacket for $3.99, but it has questionable stains on it. They got this NCAA Final Four from 1989. Uh, you got Duke versus Michigan, and that one is a size medium for $1.99. I found an odd future snapback for $2.99. For $4.99, here is this Logo Athletic, size XL, Dallas Stars, Modano jersey. I found two vintage NCAA Final Four tees. This one is from 92 by Logo 7, and then this one is by Salem from 1993. We got the Death Note tee right here, $1.99, size medium. Found the Tommy Hilfiger backpack right here, but there's no price on it, so I'm hoping they give me a price so I can buy it, and hopefully it's not too expensive. So I just got back in my car out of that store. Um, I asked her how much the backpack was, so she took it to the back. She came back. I was expecting her to say like $9.99 or something like that, because that's kind of like what their prices are here. But she came back and told me 65 cents. So I got that backpack for only 65 cents. But now we're gonna go on and go on to the next one. So let's go. So I found this copy of Ruby, and it's funny, uh, for 95 cents, because I have a cousin who's really into this show, but we always make fun of him about how ugly it is. <laughs> so that's like one reason why I've never watched it, because the way it looks. But I've been playing a lot of Blaze Blue cross tag battle lately, and um, these characters are in it. 
but they look a lot better than what they actually look like in their show. And I actually do like the characters, like their um, personalities and stuff in that game. So, I don't know, maybe I'll try to watch it, but I just can't get over how it looks. It looks like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like CGI or something. We got the front back all over print Ninja Turtle shirt right here, size medium for $2.99. Every time I find these shirts, they're always super small. Me right now. When I first saw this, I thought this was LimeWire. Who remembers LimeWire? Let me know if you remember LimeWire. <laughs> How tragic. Rest in peace. One gigantic Air Force One, but the other one is not here with it, so I don't know where it's at. For $1.99, I found this Coho Colorado Avalanche jersey, size medium youth. Nothing on the back. It has some like light stains and it's missing the strings right here around the neck. Found a copy of Skate 3 for 95 cents. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but to me, this is like the best skateboarding game you can buy. And it's Xbox One backwards compatible, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and grab this and keep it. Some Kobe 9 Easters. They want 25. And then there's also some uh, Dart Frog 7s for 30. For $1.75, I found this Crooks and Castles size large tee. Here's a Logo 7 Broncos tee size XL. A little bit cracked, and then behind that, oops, behind that we got Drake. I've heard good things about this movie. This is actually one I've been wanting to check out. dollar each I found Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution on the 360, Naruto, Black Ops 2 on the 360, UFC Undisputed 3 on the PS3 which this was like the last good UFC game in my opinion. The other ones get boring really fast and then Grand Theft Auto 5 which has both disc and the map and everything so for a dollar piece you can't really beat that. So I apologize for the crap video, <laughs> but um, all these games were like behind the glass case and when I was looking through them, shoot, the lady was actually like standing over me. <laughs> so I apologize for the way the footage came out, but I ended up getting these games for $3 each, except for this one, Zombie Ate My Neighbors. Uh, this one I paid $10 for, it says $18.50, but she gave it to me for $10. And then the rest of these I paid $3 each for, which I got Donkey Kong Country, um, Super Mario World, which this is always a fast seller, everybody always wants that one. Street Fighter 2 and Donkey Kong on the NES, Donkey Kong 3. They had a couple more, but the, um, they were telling me that the ones that didn't have prices on them were $3, and then the ones that were like this, individually priced, uh, were what they had on them. Uh, they just gave me this one for 10 but they didn't want to go low on the other ones. And all the other games were individually priced for like $25, $30, so I just got these. But anyway, on to the next one. Pulling up the Play-Doh's closet. Hopefully they got some good stuff this week. Um, last week they had some okay stuff, but about to find out what they got today. 25. So I only own one pair of Vans, but I think this is gonna be my second pair that I own for $18, my size size 10. It's the Peanuts, Peanuts Vans. And I've always liked these, so it's cool to find them in my size for $18. I really like these to play in, but they're busted. Size 10 and a half, my size, 30 bucks. These are the All-Star 9s, I think. They got Goofy Boy Lows in here, $45 size 9. I'm gonna try them on, but I don't think I can do it. And that sucks that I really like these. Yeah guys, as much as I want them, it's not gonna work. Too tight. 
They got these orange box ones too, size 11 for only 20 bucks. These are alright, they don't got nothing on those goofy boys. They got a pair of these zoom flies for $30 size 9. These things are super light. So I'm just leaving Play-Dohs. I did pick up a couple things, but I want to give you guys a little sneak peek of this week's flea market grab video because I actually go to the flea market and the thrift stores like all today in one day. Um, but I actually picked these up from the flea market. Not going to show you too much, but yeah. <laughs> so if you guys want to see that, stay tuned for this week's flea market grab video and uh, let's go on and well, I'm about to go get something to eat and then I'll go to the next thrift store. So let's go. Alright guys, so I actually lied. This is actually going to be the end of the video. But if you did enjoy it, please hit that like button, subscribe down below, and drop a comment. And I will see you guys next week with another one. So, later.